Hey there, it's Darren, and in this video, I'm doing a quick little bit on setting up and managing modules on the LAN turtle. I have my LAN turtle right here plugged into this very Linux machine, and I have it plugged into the Ethernet, so it's set up on the network here. It's got access to the internet. And I'm going to go ahead and show you how to manage them over the command line as well as some of the more uh, manual ways to download those and upload them to the LAN turtle and things of that nature. Uh, this is inspired by a thread where people are having some trouble downloading modules, so I want to show you kind of some of the tricks to that. So let's go ahead and dive right in. I'm going to uh, come over here to my prompt, and if I do an if config, I can see that I have my LAN turtle right here. It's registered as F26. I've got this IP address on its LAN. So I can go ahead and SSH over to it. So SSH as root over to it at uh, 172.16.84.1. And I'm immediately greeted by my turtle shell. If I come down to modules and choose um, module manager, what you'll want to do is when you select module manager, you need to go over to configure. Obviously you can't start this, it's not a service, it's not something you enable, you can only configure this module and when you do you'll have the ability to pull up the directory, you can delete modules and update them. So if I pull up the directory and it wants to confirm that I do in fact want to hit landturtle.com, that's where we actually host, the little asterisk, host all of these modules, I'll say yes and here we go, I got a listing of all these awesome modules that I can grab. I'm going to get myself DNS mask spoof, I'm going to get the uh, key manager, some netcat action, maybe some of these script stuff, uh, that'll do me. So I hit OK and OK and those are now installed. So if I just go back into my module listing I can see, there we go, I actually got all of these additional you know, modules here and I can use them just like you would any other. So the reason that this is so something that's really important to understand about how this works if I exit out of this menu is that the LAN turtle is going to be, need to be able to establish a connection to landturtle.com. That's where it downloads its modules. So first make sure that it actually can do that. So for instance, if I wanted to, I could ping um, landturtle.com. All right, so I can see that my LAN turtle can see landturtle.com. I mean, obviously, is curl on this system? No, curl isn't. So let me exit out of the LAN turtle back to my machine and show you curl. Okay, so curl's very similar to what wget, but I just want to quickly and easily see the output. What happens when you initiate the module manager to download that directory is it's going to get that listing from a module list, and that is hosted at landturtle.com slash modules slash module underscore list. So when I get that, look at this, here's auto SSH and DNS spoof and follow file and key manager and interpreter, and all of those other modules, right? So where that actually gets it from, if you go over to GitHub, is this particular GitHub. It's github.com slash hack5 slash landturtle dash wiki. And it's in this modules directory here. And these are the actual modules that it just, all it does is wget, it downloads these over the air. So if you're having trouble, and a lot of times what I've noticed is certain networks prohibit people from going to uh, a number of my favorite websites like hack5.org or wifipineapple.com or landturtle.com, which is really infuriating because they're like, you evil hackers, and it's like, no, you don't get it, do you? Um, so that may be the case. I've seen actual ISPs just blanket prevent people from getting to Hack5, which just irks me in such a... I don't want to go down the censorship rabbit hole right now, but uh, you can see where this is kind of going if you're trying to pull down those modules and you can't access those. So, kind of the back door in this uh, way is just to get it straight from the GitHub. So if you go to github.com slash hack5 slash landturtle dash wiki, you can find here the modules directory. I'm going to go ahead and do another example here. I'm going to download URL snarf. So if I just open up this module and I'm going to hit the raw version of it, I'm just going to save this as uh, URL snarf.txt. Okay, so it's going to be called a txt. Let me come back over here and ls, and there we go. Do I see it? I do. URL snarf.txt. I'm going to scp that file over to the land turtle now by doing scp URL snarf.txt to root at 172.16.84.1. And I'm going to want to store that in slash etsy slash turtle slash, whoops, if I could spell. <laughs> slash modules. Okay. Uh, slash. 
Yes. Great, so now I will just go ahead and SSH back in. And I'll hit escape or just exit out of this and go to slash Etsy slash, uh, what did I say turtle? <laughs> Sorry, it's late, slash modules. And if I LS now, you'll see, okay, all of these ones that are in the green, these are, uh, they're green because they're chmod plus x. They're um, executable. And these are the actual scripts that are those modules. But here's our URL snarf txt. So first of all, it's actually going to enumerate as URL snarf.txt when we make this ex executable in this directory, which is a little annoying. So just for, you know, it being, for prettiness sake, I'm going to just take out that extension and then I'm going to make it executable. So now when we ls, we can see it's green, it's happy, and if I run turtle and go over to modules, there we go. We have URL snarf, we can configure it, and all of that other fun stuff. Uh, so there you have it. I hope that answers a lot of people's questions as far as how do they manually manage modules and the, the vast majority of any bug that I've seen is just not having access to the Land Turtle website. Uh, so if you are experiencing this issue, hey, let me know in the comments. Let me know on the Land Turtle forums. You can find links to all of those over here at, oh man, graphics. Ugh, I don't even, I, I, I don't want to, I'll save this rant for another time, but um, I don't like NVIDIA graphics and Linux sometimes. Um, anyway. Uh, let me know. Yeah, if you're having some problems with the ISP blocking us, uh, go ahead and let me know in the forums, and I hope this helps some people. Um, and uh, with that, I'll see you on the internet. Cheers. Oh, and I got a pretty epic feather in my cap today. Check that out.